It's the G to the U to the R to the U. So now, I'm about to spell the 49ers 2021 schedule out for y'all, man. Them sneaky ass shanty hands, man. My boys. Kyle Shanahan and company shocked the world. John Lynch by drafting Trey Lance. Why having the porn star lover himself, Jimmy G? You know Jimmy G mad as hell, dog. He ain't even messing with no porn stars no more because he mad. You know what I'm saying? Let me take that back. He ain't even mad. He upset. He's like Drake, dog. He's upset. My man Jimmy G's upset. And I'm going to talk about how upset. This is the Jimmy G 2021 upset um, tour. He's upset. This is the 49ers I'm upset tour. And we're going to start with week one versus the Detroit Lions on the Jimmy G I'm upset tour, man. Week one at the uh, Detroit Lions, he's so upset, dog. He's so upset. He's going to smash the Lions because it's the Jimmy G upset tour. Chart this one that I want to know for Jimmy G and the 49ers. And mind you, this has nothing to do with no Trey Lance. Ain't no Trey Lance out here. It's called the Jimmy G 2021 tour, dog. Week number two at the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles are going to be the second worst team in all of football. They're going to be battling for the worst team in all of football. Jimmy G tour continues with the 2-0 and o start, dog. 2 0 start. And right now, Jimmy G starting to feel himself. He's dialing, he's texting some porn star right now. Hey, baby, I'm 2 0, baby. 3 0, they host the Green Bay Packers. And we all know Aaron Rodgers, dog. We know Aaron Rodgers and, and Matt LaFleur can't beat. We know he can't beat Kyle Shanahan. We know the Packers can't beat Kyle Shanahan. So let's just, let's just do what it is. 49ers. Got another W, man, on the Jimmy G Porn Star Tour. Right now, week three, they're three and oh. Right now, Jimmy G's looking at his phone. He's getting one of those three reply from a porn star. Like, hey, Jimmy, I see you three and oh, baby. Week number four, hosting the Seattle Seahawks. Pow! Jimmy G just got smacked down on the Jimmy G Tour. The Seahawks going to pick this dub, man. Three and one for the San Francisco 49ers, their first L at home versus the Seahawks, man. Because Jimmy G was banging all these porn stars and he didn't get in his playbook and the 49 and the Seahawks smashed his ass, man. Week number five at Arizona, man. Look, there's porn stars in San Fran, but there's more porn stars in Arizona. Trust me, I know, I know, all right? So with that said, it's a bad situation for, for a porn star lover like Jimmy G. So I look for the Arizona Cardinals to defeat, defeat, the San Francisco 49ers because they they put they gave Jimmy G a bunch of porn stars at the hotel. You know what I'm saying? Uh, trust me, I know that. Week number six, Kyle Shanahan is like, oh Lord, we need a bye week, man. All this Jimmy G porn star love himself. I need a bye week to get my shit together. I'm saying week number um seven after the bye against the Indianapolis Colts. I like this matchup for the 49ers. I think they're the big physical team, physical offensive line. I expect the 49ers to start ramping up around this time. Watch for the running game to start building up and watch for Jimmy G to start getting a little bit better, dog. So the four, the Colts are going to take an L. The 49ers after a bye are going to come with the W, man. Week 8 at the Chicago Bears. I don't like this matchup, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, I don't like this matchup for the 49ers. I think it's going to be... It's, I don't like the weather in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? What is? I think it's going to be Halloween in Chicago. And, and Halloween is already, it's already scary going to Soldier Field, but you're going to go there in Halloween? Nah, dog. Nah, this don't look good for Jimmy G, man. Put an L for the 49ers on this one, week eight, man. Week number nine, they're taking on Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals, man. So, look, they're about to smash the Cardinals, man. Kyle Shanahan owns um, um, Cliff Kingsbury, right? Kyle's going to kill that college coach. Mark the W for the 49ers, man. Week number 10 against Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions. We know Kyle Shanahan's own Sean McVay. I mean, he owns Sean McVay, man. He's 4-0 the last four games against Sean McVay. I mean, he's beating Sean McVay with third-string quarterback, with undrafted free agents, with guys I don't even know who the hell is on the roster, man. So check this once again. The Rams will take an L to their nemesis, the 49ers, man. Week 11, they travel to Jacksonville. They're going to smash um, 
uh, Tim Tebow, Trevor Lawrence. I don't even know who the fuck the quarterback is going to be in Jacksonville. I don't even give a damn about Jacksonville because, frankly, y'all hear this. I don't think Urban Myers is an NFL coach. Y'all can talk about, oh, that's your coach. That ain't my coach. That's y'all's coach, man. Anyways, week number 13, number 12 against the Minnesota Vikings. I love you, Kirk Cousin, man, but this is payback, dog. You know what I'm saying? The 49ers, remember, when Minnesota came to uh, came over there and defeat. Nah, 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 this is a beat. Nah, 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 nah. Kirk Cousin can't beat Kyle Shanahan. Hey, it just can't. It just can't. I'm not even going to overdo it. Take an L for the Vikings and nigga W for the 49ers, man. Week number 13 at the Seahawks, uh, the 49ers are going to lose this game. You know why? Because... My man, Russell Wilson ain't playing. This year is the Russell Wilson season. MVP Russ, baby. And Russ, we trust, man. Week number 14 against the Bengals. Joe Burrs and company. The scheduling guards just bless the, the 49ers. Because if you're going to travel to the East or travel in the time zone, I want to travel to the Bengals. Because I know the Bengals. I mean, come on, man. It's the Bengals, all right? So the 49ers are going to win that game handily, easily. Week number 15 against the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, I mean, Kyle Pitts, uh, Matt Ryan. Tell the truth, the Falcons are in this situation where they they actually in a rebuilding situation. But in their mind, they think they're not. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know when you're in a relationship, when you think you're in a relationship, but the other person is like, in their mind, it's not. This is what's happening in Atlanta. Like, reality is kicking in. They are rebuilding. But for some reason, in their mind, they think they're not. So, the Falcons going to lose that game. Week number 16 at the Tennessee Titans. Look. Six, this is when the Titans start rolling, man. This is when the Titans, this is the end of the year, man. This is when Derrick Henry become, he, he becomes superhuman, dog. So look for Derrick Henry to do Derrick Henry's shit. Stiff arming cat, getting 200 yards, man. The 49ers is going to take an L at Tennessee, man. Week number 17, they have a late homecoming, man. They host the Houston, Texas homecoming game. Perfect time for the 49ers to get healthy and work on some game plan situation heading to the playoff. Chuck this as a W for the San Francisco 49ers, man. And week number 18 at the Los Angeles Rams, man. It's going to be a close game. It's going to be put like this. Sean McVay is going to bring the whole kitchen sink, bro. Like, Sean McVay is going to... Like, this is Sean McVay's Super Bowl. Sean McVay hates losing, but he hates losing to Kyle Shanahan, and he always loses to Kyle Shanahan. So, to stop this five-game slide, because he lost the last four games, and I see him losing the first game, the first time they played. So, with him, he's going to put everything in his mama to win this game, and that's what's going to happen. So, I see the 49ers losing the last game of the season, because, frankly, they don't care. At the end of the day, they still are going to make the playoff. So, with that said, the 49ers, will be in the righteous place. They will finish second right behind the Seagulls where they're supposed to be. So everything's going to be back to normal. They will be 11 and 6 second place in the toughest division in all of football. D-N-F-C West. Y'all know the drill, man. I told y'all and this was going to happen. Y'all like this. Y'all love this. Y'all share this. And I'm the G to the U to the R to the U. I am out.